I'm not saying, listen to this, I'm not saying that we have finished with Satan, but I believe we are beginning to deal with him. This one is my pastor. You know Prophet Fazai? Eh? Okay, you can stand aside. For you. This one is my pastor. And then with his wife. They've been coming to me. You people have been coming to me. Yes. And this one is their daughter. Uh, is he the firstborn? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes, the firstborn. Yes. I mean, uh, even myself, I have a girl. How old are you? 21. 21, yes. Um, the story that we were talking about today, you remember? Eh? The story we're talking about today uh, of Fazai, uh, try, they tried to attack him and whatever. The person that wanted to attack who was sended was this lady. Uh, this is the one. So you people, you don't know about it. Even the parents, they don't know. I, I'm sure you understand that. The parents, they don't know that she was in, it's called what? Marine what? Marine world. Marine world. When they were behind uh, the prophets here in Charis, uh, when they wanted to attack Fazai to be against, they sent uh, my, my sister here, my daughter here. So I wanted to explain. And the parents, they don't know that she was in Marine. You don't know? Not at all. Is it the first time you're hearing this? It is the first time, man of God. Uh, for me, it's not the first time, but I didn't know how deep it was. You were just suspecting or you found out? Uh, I, somebody prophesied. Someone prophesied. So therefore, it means it's true. We are dealing with the true spirit. But now, she's saved now. I'm sure you understand that. Amen. So that is why when she ended up confessing to Prophet Fazai when he was in America, the question yes. was, how did you get his number? I didn't get his number. Just put it in. I didn't get his number. Yes. But I was pushed to end up confessing this on one social media that is found in. Okay, you, you were yes. using social media. Yes. You were pushed to, do say, to say that. To, to confess everything. Because at that weekend, at that week, I was facing attacks. So I confessed on Tuesday. I believe it was Tuesday. So, please, uh, this is the issue that uh, you can start. Who are okay. you uh, in Marine <laughs> uh, Kingdom? Okay, can I explain it this way? Yes. I was a queen. You was a queen? Yes. Well... In the marine world, there is a queen of the coast. There's Jezebel, so they work together. Jezebel, she produces false prophets. Oh, there. So Jezebel produces false prophets. And she said that if I, she said that I should live her life, so I was not given my own life to live. So I was a queen in that kingdom. And as I was growing up, my life was just, I was not living my own life. I was living the queen's life. Until a point when I started Facebook. Okay, they once, uh, uh, in 20, 2009, they prophesied to me and told me about the call of God upon my life. And then from there, I entered Facebook in a way of marketing myself to go out and preach. And then as I was growing up, pastors would ask me to marry them. They would say, God showed them that I'm their wife. And then I asked myself, what's going on? Until 2014, when I came to this place, I was sitting there and... Was it there? Yeah, I was sitting there. And then the man, uh, the man of God, Apostle, was, making, uh, was doing the mass prayer. And as he was uh, doing the mass prayer, I was touched. And then I was wearing orange at that time. And then I came and I fell on the floor. And I was sleeping there. And then he came, he put his uh, finger inside my ear. And then I got delivered. But then I was confessing, the, the demon was confessing, saying that they use me to recruit pastors. They want me to be a prostitute, go around sleeping pastors and all of that. And then the man of God called me after church. And then he said to me that,
that I'm very concerned about you, what you were telling me. And then I ended up confessing that many pastors were asking me to be their wife. And then he said to me, I must leave Facebook. So that is how it started. And then... Um, I developed this sudden hatred for the men of God. I didn't understand why, but I knew there were spirits inside of me. So I developed the hatred for the men of God. I didn't want anything to do with the men of God. But before I came here, there were churches that I went to, and I did not get the deliverance. I'll come back crying. I'll still be oppressed at that time. And then... Um, and then every time I'd go to a, a crusade or wherever, I had that thing of going to churches. And then I would just sit in front. I used to wear many rings. And then I would just sit in front. Everywhere I go, every church, I'd be put in front. Why? I didn't know. So I'd just sit in front. Then when I, I sit in front, I'll just look at the pastor. And if the pastor looks at me or, or lasts over me, they'll get recruited into the marine world. I was not yet in the level of sleeping with pastors. I was not there yet there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I believe you can hear. You say, give us a difference between Jezebel and a queen of what? They work together. They work together? Yes. All right. Jezebel. Now, oh, now you are saying uh, you were not yet. Yes. yes. Now, when you become, uh, how did you become what you become now? Can you explain? I was a queen. You were a queen? Yes. But I was not in the level of sleeping with pastors yet. Oh, you were not in the level of yes. sleeping with pastors yet? Yes. Okay. So the issue is you, you went to a point where you began to sleep with pastors. No. Okay. So you were They still wanted me to reach there. Yes. But, and if I did, they would become my sons in the spirit. So like what you're doing now, raise, raising prophets, true yes. prophets, I'd be raising false prophets now. So Who prophesied by my spirit? Okay, okay, all right. First day, all right. So now, how come? Uh, because I wanted to know. The issue is, uh, you wanted to attack this one. Okay. Let, let's come to that point. Uh, uh, why you wanted to attack him, especially him? Why? Okay. C can I start from the beginning? Yeah, Papa? start from the beginning. Okay. Um, at, when the man of God, Prophet Fazai, was in Botswana. Um, I went into a trance, into the marine world. And this was when the battle became intense because they wanted to deliver me in order to deliver my parents' ministry. So when he was in Botswana, I went into a trance. And then they exposed the people that were a, a threat to them. So one of the people that appeared was the prophet that, was, uh, that exposed who I was at that time and then they said that he is a threat and then they also showed prophet Fazai that he is also a threat so what I was supposed to do I was supposed to come to the service so um, it was not my first time when he was around uh, before when I came here before the incident of attack happened before when I came here I was sitting here and as he was going around looking for people to to uh, prophesy to, he looked at me directly, but then I had that fear, I could not attack him, until when I came um, in, I think March, April, somewhere there, after he came back from Botswana, I went to the back, and as people were praying, I was also praying, 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 then I could see where he was standing, then I went to him, then I went, I began to pray, 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 and then he was wearing glasses, when I tried looking at him, I was afraid. I was afraid of looking at him. And then uh, I sat down here, don't, and then he was sitting there. Okay. Here, he was sitting there. Yeah. Then as I was sitting here, second row, I looked at him, but then he would always... Look aside. Like, yeah. he would avoid looking at me. And then um, until the man of God, Apostle, went around praying for people, then he came to me and then he pointed me. And then after he pointed me, I started to, to shake. Then Prophet Fazai was behind Apostle. So I was told, I had voices that told me to go run towards him so that he can pray for me. That was how I was supposed to attack him. Okay. 
What is the reason of attacking him, especially? They, they wanted to get through him in order to destroy Apostle. Tell us okay, they wanted to get through him to destroy Apostle because he was uh, one of the rising prophets. And he was a young prophet, a young person, a young prophet. So what Jezebel is doing now, she's after these young prophets, but they enter, she can enter them through the spirit of pride, and then out of pride comes rebellion. And then in that way, she's able to see who her target is, then she enters the person. So what she wants to do is she wants to pervert the gift that the gift of God and make it her own so that they prophesy out of her spirit, not out of the spirit of God. So people cannot tell the difference between a false prophet and a true prophet of God. False prophet, they prophesy with familiar spirit. And the spirit is not from God. It's a spirit from the marine world. They are given what they call eagle eye. So they prophesy out of that eye. And you can spot them if they don't have the fruits of the Holy Spirit within them. But it, and even when they deliver a person, because I've been to these churches, they try to deliver me, nothing happened. So when you go to these churches, they'll pray for you and in them delivering you they are putting more demons on the inside of you but a true prophet when they pray for you and deliver you they are actually setting you free from these uh, spirits that are hindering your life so that's how you tell between a true prophet and a false prophet so now I, I mean what is the reason why they are searching for me okay uh, yes Charis missionary church it is a place where God, th this is a place that was prophesied about that revival will come out from South Africa. This is the place that they spoke about. So what she's actually trying to do is to distract that plan in order for it not to prevail. Many people that we see today in many of these other churches, I'm sorry to say, but their lives are in danger because they will miss the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. But as long as you are in this place, your eyes are open to see and to, to know about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rapture will happen, people of God. People of God, we, <laughs> Jesus is coming back. So if a church is only based on things that are pertaining to the material and they are not fixing your eyes on the truth that Jesus Christ is coming back, I'm sorry to say but you are in a false church you must leave that place go to places where the true word of God is being preached go to place where there are true prophets of God ask for the spirit of discernment in doing that amen how did they send you I mean can you explain that how did they, they sent send you? me <laughs> it was through it is it a meeting you it meeting? was a meeting okay where yes. explain everything I was okay I went into this trance then when I got into this trance, it's as though we were sitting in a round table setting. Yes. And they were all dressed in their different colors. People were dressed with their different colors. The mimics, the way that they dress, and they had crowns. And then there was a mirror, a huge mirror. The mirror is like, oh, very big. Yeah. And there's water flowing from that mirror. So we could see the people that they are talking about. That is why every time when we pray, we say we break those marine mirrors that they use to monitor our lives. Everybody's life is being monitored in yes. that kingdom. Okay, let's go back to the issue of they wanted to attack him, to attack me. And then when they fail, when you fail, okay? When I failed, they wanted to kill me. They wanted to kill you. On the eve of my birthday because I could not fulfill their assignment. So I was supposed to die. And who are you in the spirit there? Pardon? They call you what there? They called me a queen. Queen of what? The queen, Jezebel. Jezebel. I had the same power as her. And where was the power in you? It was on my hands, it was on my eyes, it was on my feet. And even... <laughs> Yeah, I can't say though. No, I want you to say everything. It was on my private area. Because they also. wanted to go and sleep with pastors. Yes. Were but you not sleeping with them in the spirit? In the spirit I was because I remember when the battle became intense, some, one of these great prophets, one of him, he came and he slept with me and it fed felt real but it was in the spirit it felt real then when i woke up when i saw his service he was moving in such dramatic power 
in his service. Yes. Hey. And so, he's one of the trending prophets. Yeah? Trending prophets. And even right now, Papa, many of them, they pursue me in my dream. They want to recruit me back, either by sleeping with me or raping me. But some, uh, I had this other dream when, that I told the man of God that I saw this other young lady that I'm inspired by. I love her also. And then I slept while listening to her teachings. And then I was taken into a trance. She was holding my hand. And as she was holding my hand, I told her to be careful of these people talking about the marine world. We were walking by the ocean. But now she's preaching in those churches that are false. She has been recruited. Okay, you, you were speaking, you were telling me about the lady that was manifesting here yes. today. Yes. You were around here. Yeah. You were saying what? I was saying that whatever that she was saying is true. They looked for somebody because they failed with him. And who was speaking in her? It was the queen of the coast. It was the queen of the coast? Yes. All right, uh, you know the queen of the coast? I know her. So, and then... Uh, Okay, the plan was what? What was the plan? The plan. Papa. The plan. We heard the plan is to attack. Yes. You tried to attack him. They you failed. failed. Yes. Do you still want to attack? Because we're hearing that another one is attacked. They want to attack men of God and they will not stop attacking. Okay. They will not stop attacking as they said that the battle has begun. Because the whole thing is to win souls to the kingdom of darkness. That's the main plan. Yes. We heard that someone is already attacked. Yes, um, one of your you, sons. One of my sons. Yes. Were you aware? I was aware because yeah. when uh, they came back from Botswana, you were praying for that particular son saying they, they got him. Then you were telling him that he's still young, you still have to groom him. You prayed for him. Yes. So how did you attack? Is you or is them? It's them. How did they attack? You know they went to attack. They attacked him by entering the spirit of envy, pride, jealousy, and all those type of spirits. So you he know, was weak. He was weak. Yes, very weak. So are they not now behind now, even now, to say they are searching for him or another one here? They Can are. Explain? thing is that I've not been there now in a while since I was delivered. But I know the thing that, that they are still looking for people in to destroy in this church, especially the upcoming prophets. Explain to us the issue of the revival. Uh, how do you know, and then what are they talking about it uh, okay. in the marine kingdom? Okay, the main thing is that the revival will expose the false prophets because many people, some of the people will stop going to these false churches. Some of the people. So the what was prophesied about South Africa is that there's a star in this nation and this nation will produce prophets that will go out and bring revival to the whole world. So they are fighting against that. Actually, they want deliverance and prophetic ministries. If they can get these two, then our lives, all of us, they are in danger. You know, uh, my wife, she says she saw a spirit yeah. coming to tell her that uh, uh, they want to use this one mm. and then they want to attack this prophet, whatever, whatever. Mm. Uh, what kind of spirit was that? They wanted to, sp to put the spirit of rebellion in him and pride because they saw that he is humble and he serves you the way that he serves you. So they wanted to put that in him. Yeah. So now, do you know the person that they put a spirit of rebellion now? Yes. So what is, what is another thing that they are planning to do? And Okay. For now, I just know that all that I've explained now. And then when you go there to say you want to say everything, yeah. what is it that was pushing you? I don't know also because can, let me just speak. Um, the week before, I had a dream. And in the dream, I was being stoned. I was being stoned. Then I was put in some cage, and there was a snake in that cage. And then uh, after that, that's, I bit that snake, and I ate it. 
And then from there, I knew that time and my life is under attack. Then until I decided to go into a fasting on, on Tuesday, and then there was just something that just pushed me, hi man, go and tell Fazai, go and tell Prophet Fazai about this issue. And then um, it was to confirm the dream that he had also when he was, in, he saw himself that he was in Cape Town. And then as he was walking, he saw, what did you see, man of God? You. I had a fight with the Queen of the Coast about three years ago, so I wrote it on my Facebook. Okay. Mm. Yes. So I was confirming what he was actually saying. So that's the thing that pushed me to go and confess everything because I want to be free. And now since because I've... Okay, I want you to explain to us maybe again about the false prophets and the true prophets. Yes. I think we can learn a lot on that line. Yes. Oh. Okay. The false prophets, people of God, you monitor them with marks. You must be given, everybody's given a mark. If you're a child of God, you have a mark of Christ. If you are a false prophet, you are given a mark. And you also use what they call the dead eye. This is Illuminati powers. Have you seen a dollar bill has the, the eye, the eagle eye? That is the eye that they use to prophesy with. So whenever they would come, they would say some codes, speak in some tongue, and then from there they would... This eye is used to prophesy. This is the eye that is monitoring the whole world. That is how they are able to trace your lives. That is how they are able to monitor your prayer life. So they speak some codes, these people. And then after speaking that code, that spirit would show them about your life. So that is how you monitor, that's how you see a false prophet. Okay, a true, you mean they, they prophesy by code? Yes, they have codes. Mm. They are given codes. Each of them is different, but if you listen clearly, they sound the same. But they I cannot speak that code because I know ish, I'll be under attack. You'll be under attack. <laughs> I'll pray for you. Men of God, please. Huh? <laughs> Not everybody that watches Charis is for Charis, men of God. Uh, you hear what she said? She says not all people who are watching Charis are for Charis. So what are you saying? By that, that statement. They are monitoring you, Papa. They are monitoring me? Yes. These great prophets, they are monitoring you, men of God. Mm. You can hear that. It's amazing to find something like that. I mean, it's shocking to find. It's no issue of say, those who say, Lord, Lord, shall enter in the kingdom. So why are you saying they are monitoring? Explain again. Because they want to hinder that revival that you're about to bring in this country. Like they said, they are against this thing of you sending prophets into different countries. They are. It is a war. It's a war. Yes, it is. Because you're going to expose their works. People get saved by hearing the truth. Hey. I, I mean, uh, you are hearing. Uh, this is serious. Um, I mean, I'm sure, Baba, you are surprised. I'm highly surprised, man of God. Baba, were you knowing this? I didn't know, but I'm beginning to understand even the struggles that you are having in the ministry because she's the keyboard player in the church, and we are having big, big, big problems in the church. Yeah, I keep on playing, okay? Yes. Yeah. What they're actually doing now, <clears throat> my parents' ministry was supposed to grow, but because I've been failing the assignments that they want for my life, and I said, no, I don't want to go back. So they're actually punishing them. They're punishing them? Yes, so that I can agree to... Well, what was the assignment? The assignment, first of all, they've been my, after my mom's life. My mom has been through a lot in order to make my father suffer because they know that my dad is very soft. So they actually wanted to kill this woman. And by her moving away from my life because she's always been watching me like we've never been close like we are now. But there was always a quarrel between us because there was an older woman living in me. An that older was, woman. yes, Jezebel. 
So she was against her. They wanted to even destroy her, her legs by amputating them. They gave her also sugar diabetes. She came here 2014. Are you, are you sugar diabetic? I was diagnosed. Okay. She came here 2014, man of God. You prayed for her. She became healed. She started eating sweets and all of that. But then the attack came back again in 2016. 15, no, 16. Yes, 16. Mm. And again, I'd like to say, when I used to visit these false prophets, what I noticed is that one of them that I went to, he would look at me with that eye and he would be shaken. I didn't understand why, but it was because he saw the queen in me. He thought I was going to expose him. Mm. I think this is the time to expose. What do you think? So the issue is because they are monitoring to hinder the, the, the breakthrough of revival. That is why you don't want us to talk about. I don't want to say their names. Yeah? I don't want to say their You're names. You're right. We won't say anybody's name. Thank you, Papa. Yes. I, I, I believe that uh, we have a problem in South Africa. I just believe uh, that this problem is now beginning to be solved. Amen. And it will be solved. Amen. For the glory of his name. You know, now I'm concerned now. If uh, you talk about the eagle eye. Yes. Code also. Yes. I, this thing is not new to me. I've been hearing this thing. And uh, my sister was in this thing before, this one. Do you, you don't know her? I don't. Uh, come, sister. What she say, tell me, what is that you know of what she say? Everything. Huh? Almost everything she mentioned. Everything she mentioned. Yes. <laughs> She's speaking the truth. The Every truth. The truth. But then with the snake, when you bite a snake and Closer. eat a, a snake, huh? when you bite a snake and eat it, yeah. it depends on the sizes of the snake. You know what they're doing, and um, they even tell you why you are eating the snake. So it's not an attack, it's something that you are aware of. So, so I, I felt like you, you, you were hiding something there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you hear what she said. Can you just speak about that? Okay, and to be honest, ne, can I just explain the whole three minutes? Yeah, just explain. Thing is that I was somewhere, and in this place there were white people, these white people were stoning me yeah. along with other people. So I ran and ran and they placed us in some cage. Then when they put us in some cage, they unleashed a snake. So this snake was actually supposed to bite my foot. I said, if you, re if you release that snake, it would see it's God in me. And then I started to pray in the dream. Then I picked up the snake and I bit the tail of the snake. Then I swallowed. So that was, so I didn't what know what's saying. the, I don't know what's the meaning behind well, that. What is the meaning of that? Please, uh, she, she understand that. Because after that, my feet, they began, they began to hurt. Um, with myself, they gave me a very large snake that um, in real life, it would be very impossible for somebody to swallow. But when they give you the snake and when they tell you, um, what you're going to become because it depends with the ranks like you said with the codes I had a code also and um, When I was eating the snake um, It was I think it was two two weeks before I came to Charis missionary church and on the Thursday <clears throat> I was going to be ordained to be in the highest level in the rank. Yeah and on that rank it's one of the richest people and all that, yeah, yeah. And then the snake she's talking about. The snake she, were you dreaming or it was real life? Could Put your mic. Yeah? <laughs> it happened after deliverance. So now get the attack, it's one of the attacks that are coming towards Okay, me. all right, thank you, thank yes, you. Hey, now you can hear the issue of revival. Uh, Satan want to fight it. I just want to bring this clarity. You say they are monetary. Yes. And you say 
they can hinder revival how if they can be able to destroy men of god through his pastors they can hinder that revival just the way that they've blocked the ministry of my parents because it has a similar effect also into this nation mm. so the issue here now uh, i mean you were telling me about the the way people prophesy and speak some kind of tongues like similar uh, uh, can you tell me about that yes man of god uh -huh. these are codes oh, it's codes it's codes man of god these are codes they say these codes and then after that spirit that thing is able to show them what's happening about your life uh, uh, no it's too much uh, as you are hearing is you people you heard enough i think it's too much you heard uh, it is true that god has entrusted us with big things and already his life was in danger but i think you are the one who can expose everything yeah. now i mean which are these people here we can deal with it now is this one so which one are they say they are behind the person can you explain yes okay right now because i was away from that yes. kingdom i don't know what their latest you, you had weak there's a person who's weak Yes, the person that is weak, if he is found amongst them, then they'll attack him. All right. But I don't know who now, because... Who's, who's that one? Yes, because okay. I'm no longer... So the person, you never tell you about who's the person, because I think she's afraid to speak. So. The one who was attacked before... Before I left the kingdom, oh here in this church yeah, yes the one that's sending rumors about the man of god there's someone sending rumors about who? yes about him him mm. in fact the main issue is revival yes eh? yes now understand it i'm telling you i understand it the main issue here is revival the revival must stop how can go call half of the church it's revival yeah, I think you can ask something. You ask us, I think you can ask. I think uh, everything has been said. Okay, people of God, these are the last days. Please let us be careful. If you are in Cherries, you are in a safe place. If you live somewhere far, look for a place that is like Cherries also. But don't be ruled by the flesh, be ruled by the spirit. It's time for people of God to have the spirit of discernment. It will lead you to the truth. Jesus is coming back and it's not a joke. That is why he's in a hurry to release people that will go out and speak the truth. So let us live a holy and a righteous life. Amen. Is there anybody who wants to ask any question here? Yes. Just... I, you say you're 21 years old now, and it, the things that you're explaining, it shows that you've been in this thing for quite some time. And in our church, we also have younger ladies that are your age. So can you just, or, or guys as well, so can you just give us, enlighten us with what to be aware of in our surroundings and wherever we go so that we don't fall in the same trap? Okay. I want to to now speak to guys that are young and still in the ministry. Don't last after the things of the flesh. Again, I'm saying that such as money, fame, and glory, that will bring you down. To the young ladies, be careful of the things that you wear, such as bomiri, like hair, makeup, and all of these things. We must sanctify these things. Just be careful, children of God. That's all I'm going to say. Walk according to the spirit, not according to the flesh. Amen. And uh, what we wanted to hear, we heard it all, that there's a plan of the enemy, this, that. To be honest with me, I wanted to say, okay, they want to use this one. You understand? And then I called that person. Hello, they want to use you. Come, <laughs> repent on this. And uh, there's something like this. Learn this. You understand what I'm trying to say? Because things of revelations, they belong to us. It's not something that, like something like this, it's a serious issue. You can see that uh, already if we have people attacking each other, whatever, whatever, and we forget that there is heaven, 
The moment you find a person like this, exposed now like this, and she wants to follow God like that, the way she's following God now, this is an opportunity to learn and to repent. You follow Jesus. I think that's, that's the lesson of today. I believe God is fighting against this. I, I just believe God is in control. I, th I believe that. I believe God is working. Uh, I'd like to start from here. Um, there was a time where we went to this other church after we received, after my mom received her healing here in this ministry. Yes. Then we just went to visit another church. It was before they knew about this. Mm. After she touched that place, she started to become sick to a point where she was going to die. Your mom? Yes. Okay. So what they are doing, they look for influential people. And these influential people, they'll be, they'll be used to attract people that are so desperate. Pastors that are so desperate so that they'll come to them and say, each man of God, please, I need you to help me. And by them laying on of hand, they are able to recruit you by money, fame, glory, because that is what many men of God want now. It's all about them and not about God. I just want to ask my sister about the issue of weaknesses and what kind of weaknesses when you are taking Christian. And also, when a Christian is facing uh, this attack of dream, where, where such extent or... Uh, this evil spirit will come and try to recruit the Christian one dreams. So, ask your question again. I, I, was, I wanted to ask about the que uh, question of weaknesses. When you say well, we are attacking uh, weak, 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 weak Christians, what kind of weaknesses? The m one major thing that they are looking for in the life of a child of God, and they like to attack the most, it's prayer. So if you do not have a prayerful life, you open doors for them to come in because you'll start entertaining thoughts that are not of God. So once you stop praying without ceasing, then they will start to attack you. And they know, okay, fine. So your other weakness is anger. They use that. And then in the dream, they catch you. Either through food or they send somebody to sleep with you. Okay. Uh, my sister, I wanted to ask about uh, uh, television mm. because I think television has, has a, a problem this nowadays yes. when, I, when I look at it. So I wanted to know if they, they use it on, on, on getting attention on Christians. Do they use it like television? Is it? Thank you so much for that question. And it's something that has been impressed in my heart so much that I shouldn't watch television like the way that I used to. What they are doing now when they use t television against the children of God, you find children of God, they can watch a movie from now up until the next day. But when it comes to reading the word of God or even listening to the word of God, they sleep. You understand? So TV, it contributes a lot because it even entertain your thoughts. I can make an example, Papa. When you watch something, it gets recorded in your conscious mind. It enters the subconscious. The subconscious changes it into a feeling. Then you ask yourself, why am I having the spirit of lust? It is because of something that you were watching. Even as the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So that's why we need to be careful. They use it to also monitor our lives. That's how they use television. That is why it's called the devil with one eye. There are prophets. There is a revival. There is sin. These false prophets, we're learning from there. I'm sure you understand that. Amen. So let's stop this issue now. I think this is the time now that you people, you refrain, you go back to the Bible, you check your life, your character, you live a right life. I believe God is going to open doors for you. Amen. We thank God. We thank God for a life. In fact, uh, I think she can help many people. She can help many people uh, who need deliverance, who need to know there is Satan, whatever. She's running. Can you see there? Watch there. What is your problem? Huh? What is your problem now? Okay, okay, huh? okay. Let them leave me, I'll, I'll, I'll stand still. 
Okay, yeah. Let them leave me. I'll stand still. You stand still. Yes, I promise. So you promise. Yes, I promise. So please. You know, you remember when I, she was sitting there? I said there was a smell that I heard coming from her, and this smell, I think, is an attack. So okay. Can they leave me? I'll stand still. Okay, stand still. They are leaving you. Sis. Mm. What? You say what? <laughs> Talk. <coughs> so who are you? <coughs> who are you? I'm queen of ghosts. You're queen of ghosts. I found you finally. Huh? I found you finally. You found me. Yes. We've been looking for you. <laughs> You've been looking for me. I hate you people. Huh? You want to expose my you want to expose my things. What are your things? My powers. <laughs> See, she was saying she's delivered. You need deliverance. That's why I will pray for you. So, what is your mission? What is your mission? To destroy you all. To destroy you? True servants of God. To destroy servants of God. Yes. Yeah. How? By recruiting them to my kingdom. I want everyone. I want them all. I own the whole world. I heard your smell today. I know. Eh? I know. I just heard a very nasty smell oh. when I was sitting with her. I said, ah, what kind of smell was that? Huh? Eh? Huh? What kind of smell was that? Spirit of death. Spirit of death? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. We want to kill her. That's eh? why. We want eh? to kill her. You want That's to kill why her. we send the spirit of death. So today when she was speaking here, she was exposing you. Yeah. Eh? Yes. Eh? That's why we wanted to kill her last week. Ah, but this guy. Yeah. I'm still hearing ah. that smell even now. Ah. When she said, ah, it's a smell that comes out. She said it, Moose. Eh? She said it, Moose. What else do you want to know? No, talk. You talk. Ah. I'm tired. Huh? I want to go. You want to Aye, go? Man. Aye, man. Hey, hey, hey. man. You want to go? Yes, sir. You want You're to go? Right. You're making me angry. Huh? You're making me angry. You're angry? Yes. Show me. Show me how you become angry. Queen of the coast. No. Remove your powers from no. her. No. No. I still want her back. You still want yes, her back? Yes, I want to use her. To use her where? Yeah, in my kingdom. In your kingdom. I want many people to follow her. I want her to speak lies when she preaches to people. You want her I to do her to, I want her to deceive people by telling them about money and not about God. Oh. So remove your powers. No. Please. One, two, three. No, no, don't. Huh? Don't, don't, don't. Can I count? Can I count three? One, two. <laughs> Remove. Remove everything. <laughs> Mention what you are removing. Crown, powers in her hands and her feet. <laughs> She'll never go to wrong places. <laughs> Remove all. Can you remove your crown? Remove all. What about in the stomach? No. no. Huh? <coughs> oh, why? Why? 
No. Remove. Ah, ah, Arvati, Arvati, Ay, Arvati, no, Ay, 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 Come out. Hi, 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 Vomit! Can you vomit? <laughs> uh, Pastor, you still have a job here. Uh, you can see that they're still behind it. They want to use it. She can be delivered, but she must live a real life. Uh, you understand? You still have a job. Now she's close to you. Always you... You know, you try to guide her, Mama. Yes. Otherwise, there's no need to blame her. You know, stolen when she's young. There's no need. <coughs> Remove everything and go. You can go now. In Jesus' name. These are the people that when you are when you are weak, they can just attack you. You just lay hands on them, they finish you. Like now when you say the crown is gone. You do like this. She leave. Can't she's not removing anything. Yeah, yeah. But they know. Come to our church. You know, it's very dangerous if you can't see. And these people are seeing this one. You just say, fire there. And here, there's water behind you. You are sending water, you say fire. These are very, very dangerous people. But because of the grace of God, even when you can't see, when you say in Jesus' name, Jesus appear. Can you see the grace? So, you, what are you doing now? Huh? Huh? Can you talk? I will kill you. She'll die with me. Huh? She'll die with me. She will die with you. Let me see if she will die with you. Can we talk together and say, whoever, whoever stolen, stolen to be used by Satan among, among us must be set free right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say if you are stolen and devil want to use you or is using you right now I say be delivered be delivered be delivered be delivered say it say 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 it say it say it say it say it say it Be delivered. Be delivered. In Jesus' name. No, no, no. 
Never. Eh, eh. No. Eh, eh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Satan is defeated. Yeah. In Jesus' name. It's over. Raise up. Raise up. Uh, you know, Satan is a liar. Yeah. Look here, sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> you say what? I'm sorry, but I'm kind. <laughs> You're sorry for what, my sister? For everything. Huh? Everything. It's not you. Eh? It's not you. Our enemy is the devil. God loves you. God loves you. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, my girl. Stand up. I know children of pastors are vulnerable. I know. Uh, children of pastors can be attacked in a very simple way. So I know. God loves you. Come and hug her. Come and hug her. You people want to come and hug her. Just to encourage her. Even you. Come. Come and hug her. Yeah, come and hug her, please. She's 21 years. <laughs> Come and hug her. Yes, encourage her. Uh, she does not need to ask forgiveness. Uh, already, you can hear she started when she was small. You understand? So, you people here, you must never look at her like she's uh, something else. She needs your attention now. Uh, if you accept her, you will deliver many. Uh, you need to know that. Automatically, it means there's a work of God in this girl. That is why Satan is behind her. Amen. You understand? Amen. So, there's something in her very, very special. Amen. So, that is why Satan attacks her with small, because he knows what your children will become. 21 Amen. years cannot be like this. Look Amen. how big she is. She struggled to fall pregnant with her. Struggle? Yes, and I pray to God that if I conceive, she will work for God. So that's the main issue. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. <coughs> and when I pray for, for, for your parents, you look me with the same eyes. So, uh, and... I began to ask myself, because always you will ask yourself, why I look at you like this? Yes, yes. You say always when I look at her, I look at her like this. But I sense, I'm telling you now, that uh, uh, they still want to come to you. It's true. They, no, they are still going to want to come to you. Even now we pray for you, they are still going to come to you. Okay. And try to check if you really... You know, you mean business about following him. Come here and look at the eyes there. Can you see how she looked? That's why they chose her, wanted to use her, because she's innocent. So you are innocent. Yes, we thank God, we thank God. Uh, we thank God she's free. In fact, we, we were planning, it's just that the issue of the economy was a challenge then, we, not knowing what we were going through. Because the struggles we were facing in ministry, really, we moved from the house where we were. We've got a bigger place now. Now, if I can tell you, for over three weeks, only three people came to the church. Can you imagine? And we've been asking ourselves, what exactly is going on, you know? So, um, and we were not even aware this is what is bringing us here. We thought, oh, something else. And yes. we had to leave. The service was already on. I think we left four o'clock, half past four in How Soweto. How many people were you having today? Today it was better. It was better? Were, yeah, it was better today. Uh, like how many? Um, 15, 16. Fish. And how long is the ministry? In the new place where we are now, it's over from... Uh, how long? How, for, many, how many years? 12 years. And 15 people. So you can see the attack. How big was the attack? We thank God for your life. Uh, we believe this will also reshape and change your ministry. Let's trust God that from now on there will be breakthrough in your life. God bless you, sir. God bless. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.
Come, can you stand up here? Come. This lady is the one who confessed. You remember her? You're the one? Yes. Are you the one who confessed? Yes, I am. Daddy. I want uh, this lady, bring this lady. When I was talking about replacing, this is the lady that was speaking that day. Who was around that day? This lady told us everything. Number one, they wanted to attack Fazai so that he will rebel against me. And then, so that they were able to stop the revival that is coming. She was, the time when I was praying for people here, among the people here. So, well, the moment I reached there, she began to vibrate like this. So, I said, Fazai, go. When Fazai was going, I hold him back. I said, Mali, where go? And lay hands there. So, that's how, you remember? Yeah. You can give a mic. Yeah. So, because she was sent to attack Fazai, uh, they, they say you are what? They, you were what? I was a queen. Then. She was a queen, yes. She was a queen. Already, they already attack. Is it true? Yes. What I'm saying? Yes. They're attacking. Are you hearing me? Yes. Can you just also say it out? They wanted to attack who? Fazai. Yes. They failed. They failed. They failed. And they were using you. Yes. Can you hear? It says they were using me. Uh, the day you told us, you say, they attack, they try to attack Fazai. Eh? Yes. They check, they found that there's another one they can use. Yes. yes you remember? Yes. So, and can you explain that? And they did find that person because he was weak in the spirit. They, they found him. They found him. You can hear that. Because of the character, he was weak in the spirit. Because of the character? Yes. He did. was weak? Yes. So you, you discuss him before you attack. You, you people fail on Fazai, and then they went to him. What was the aim, the best aim? The aim was to attack the, the apostle. Or if they the attack sons. him, they will attack me. Yes. You can hear that. That's why now you will know that the issue of pastoring is not chapis. Because people like this, this one she's saved now. She's free now. Amen. But there are people like queens. They come and sit here. And they are preaching. They say, Amen, Pastor, Amen. Come on. Oh. And they can speak in tongues. Also, they can speak in tongues. They are checking, they are waiting when you come and lay hands. The moment you lay hands, you collect. You say it's because of the character of him. Yes. How did they find that you have got a bad character? Through pride, jealousy, envy, your meditations. That's how they can see that you are a target because you open doors for them. Through pride. Through pride. Now you, are, you know now. Now you are hearing people now. She was a queen. So we thank God. Uh, so, because you're already out, you don't know now what is happening. I don't know, but they're yeah, But be careful, eh? Yes. Be you. careful. Because yes. I already heard that you are prophesying people. <laughs> eh? Eh? So stop prophesying people, eh? Yeah. So be careful. Just be a Christian. Amen. Stop I, I, I was told. Someone told me about it. Go see that. It's a great lesson. It's a really great lesson.